Yo, what's good with y'all gang? And real quick, gang, I just want to thank each and every last one of y'all for all the love and support that y'all been showing on the past few videos lately, man. Y'all have been going crazy, and I'm appreciative. So with that being said, thank you for all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. But gang, with everything going on with Rockstar Games and GTA Online with the new Battle Lot thing and the whole them getting DDoS and blah, 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 I kind of wanted to make a video really just stepping away from all that and kind of talking about me, myself, and some of the things and changes that I have done in GTA Online over the last year, year and a half, maybe even two years for myself when it come down to how I play GTA Online and the things that I've gotten interested in over the course of the past couple of years. So if you don't know, man, when I first ever started playing GTA Online back in 2013, I never really was like into anything. I kind of just ran with the flow and just had fun with the game, man. I kind of just played with my homies and we just did stuff. Whether it was like free mode PvP, flying around in helicopters being dumb, or just doing whatever. Y'all know one thing I used to love to do more than anything, though, was doing contact missions and just doing structured stuff. And to this day, I still enjoy that to a sense. So basically, gang, what I'm trying to get at is how did I go from being quote unquote a grinder or somebody that was like heavily invested in grinding in GTA Online to more so, I wouldn't really say try harding because I don't consider myself a try hard. I don't consider myself one of them people that care that much about the game or trying to be good at PvP. I just really enjoy it and stuff like that. So how did I go from being a grinder to mainly PvP focus as far as GTA Online goes? And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blame y'all. It's y'all fault to be honest, bro. My community, not that my community is toxic. I don't have a toxic community to be honest. My community is actually great. I have a mix of all type of people, but a lot of people in my community, especially um, when it come down to like PS5 and all that, they really enjoy PvP. They really enjoy free mode PvP to be exact, man. A lot of people in my community, they really enjoy free mode PvP and they really enjoy being out there in free mode with me and just causing as much havoc that, as we possibly can, man. And on one hand, I do fuck with it. It's fun. I do enjoy it myself. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of changed up how I play the game and some of the stuff that I do. And granted, don't get me wrong, gang. I still love the grind of GTA. I still enjoy the grind. I still have fun grinding in Grand Theft Auto Online. I just don't do it nowhere near as much anymore. And it's because of the simple point of fact that I did it so much for so long to the point where it kind of got in, what's the word, redundant. And this isn't a knock against any grinders, bro. Like for my real legit crazy grind head people, bro, the people that really be out here grinding and really be getting to a bag and all that type of stuff, I got so much respect for y'all, gang. Like I really do got like mad respect for y'all. Really do think that y'all are like, like y'all are definitely top tier of what y'all do and how y'all do it, man. But for me, I always looked at myself as somebody that like to just enjoy the game for what it is for multiple, multiple different reasons, not just because Oh, I just want to be a grinder. Or, oh, I want to be a part of bitch. What you thought you was finna do? Pussy, get your ass on. But for me, I always looked at myself as somebody that wanted to enjoy the different ways of GTA. When I say like the different ways, I mean like just the different ways to play Grand Theft Auto as a whole, man. Like it's so many different ways to play GTA more than just grinding or more than just, you know what I'm saying? Doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, buddy. And that's kind of like why I didn't got a little bit out of the loop when it come down to just playing GTA one track way. Like I grinded so much in Grand Theft Auto Online, bro, to the point where it, it like I said, it, it became redundant. I have been one of them people that did the old school grind. And when I say the old school grind, I mean the grind before like the heist came out, before Kaya Perico, before Diamond Casino and all that. I was the type of person, man, I did the grind where you go out your way, man, and you go ahead and collect CEO craze and you do the car import export stuff before they even came out like Auto Shop and you do terabyte missions and CEO work and VIP work and all that, man. That's the type of stuff that I was into that I did so long. I remember days, bro, I used to work, come home for work. I used to work like eight hours, bro, come home for work and put in another six to eight hours 
on the game, watching live streams, watching professional, watching Tyler's, watching GTA men or punter or, or whoever, like punter, whoever, whoever was on live that I enjoyed watching. I would just watch them, bro. And I would just sit down and just play the game and put in mad. I mean, mad amount of hours, bro, just playing the game and having fun, grinding and stuff, buddy. But I also just got to the point where I'm not going to say I feel like I outgrow grinding or nothing like that. Because at the end of the day, like I said, I still enjoy the grind. Like I still like to do heist and stuff like that. I don't like to do every heist in the game, of course, but I do like to do heist and I do like to, you feel me, do missions and stuff like that, especially when there's missions to do and stuff to experience and stuff like that. I really do enjoy it, no cap. That's like how I really, you know, like playing the game. Like you see me right now, if y'all watch my videos all the time, y'all probably see me go around this bad boy and y'all see me doing missions. Like this is what I enjoy doing right here, man. This is what I enjoy doing the most. I definitely think that is fun or whatever, especially when it comes down to a mission. Cause I feel like for my videos, I like stuff to be a lot more structured. I like stuff to be a lot more simple. You feel me? I like stuff to just be simple, straight to the point. I can talk about whatever I talk about and then I go on by my day. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy, nothing OD. You feel me? Is that the hub? What's the name though? But getting into the point of why I kind of fell more so into PVP is because again, I never was one of them people that was against PVP. Even when I was like a heavy grain head or whatever like that, I still always played in public sessions. That's one thing about me. I always played in public sessions. I always found public sessions the most entertaining way to play GTA Online because I like the chaos. A lot of people, they probably be like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? I hate the chaos playing the private session or whatever like that. And I do agree with that. Like for people that don't like the damn chaos and for people that really think like, hey, I don't want to be griefed and stuff like that, bro. Just go into a private session. I understand private sessions are boring and don't nobody want to be in them shits. But at the end of the day, if you care more about making money in the game, then you ain't going to be riding this bad boy complaining about being in a private session, bro. Because most private session people or most grindhead people going to always be in a private session. It's going to always happen. It's never going to not not happen. That's just what it is. You feel me? So that's one thing I do hate, man. I do hate that people be so quick to, you know, yell, oh, grief for this and grief for that. And people like the grief, grief, grief when there are so many ways. Rockstar have implemented so many different ways to avoid griefing or avoid being griefed to the point where if you sitting around here crying griefer and just saying that you around this bad boy being abused and stuff like that by another player, I kind of look at it as your fault now. Like, I don't really look at that shit as a way of, like, trying to sympathize with you, bro because there are so many ways to avoid griefing. You feel me? That's just me. Like, I go around, I be in primo sessions, I get shot at, and if I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed enough or I don't want to deal with something, I will fucking leave the lobby. I will go past some mode. I will do something else. There is a lot of ways to avoid being griefed in this game, buddy. Now, again, I am not a tryhard. I do engage in PvP, but I don't consider myself a tryhard. I don't consider myself one of them people that like to be involved in them tournaments outside of just for fun, but I don't consider myself outside of tournaments. I'm not riding this bad boy wearing all these goddamn weird-ass tryhard clothes that I think is complete garbage. Nothing against people that wear that shit, but that's just me. That's not my style, and I, you know, that's my opinion, and I have my right to that. I think that shit is lame. This shit is heavily, heavily ominous inspired man for all you omni inspired people and i didn't even know that that's what it shit stem from the trial i think it, it inspired it came from like anime that's what people told me and i was like yeah i see why you niggas is weird but i'm not one of the people that's gonna be around this bad boy constantly blowing myself up to avoid getting killed or trying to do weird shit to get a kill or caring about one o's caring about score caring about kd now yes i do talk about this stuff and i do ewo but I, when i ewo in my streams i ewo because of cops or I Ewo because I'm literally in a fucked up predicament where there is no other way out. You feel me? Like, but Ewo, you feel me? Or killing myself, blowing myself up or whatever like that for people that don't know what Ewo is. But that's one of the reasons why, man. I think the fact that my community is heavily into it and I just found fun in it. Like, I like the randomness. I like the chaos. And I like how even though it's kind of doing the same thing over and over again, which is just killing each other, it's always a different flavor. You never know what type of player you're going to deal with. And that's where the fun comes in there, man. You never really know the type of player you're going to end up coming into contact with and they play style and how they play the game and their mannerisms. One thing about me, I consider myself like one of them people that got like a... I kind of look at myself like I got morals when I play the game. You feel me? Like I got morals and there are certain shit 
certain play styles that I just won't do, won't partake in, or certain things that I just don't see myself agreeing with when it comes down to just GTA Online PvP, especially Free Mode PvP. And I'm one of the people I love to, you know, do game modes and stuff. Like, I always wanted to be the type of GTA YouTuber to where a person can come watch me and you get a little bit of everything. You may get some grinding here, some PvP there, some game modes here, a good laugh, a good talking topic, stuff like that. Like, you can come here and kind of get you like a one-stop shop. I don't really do a lot of like legit news. Like, I'm not writing this bad boy, reading off newsletters and telling y'all about the, the event weeks and stuff. I tried to dabble in that, but that's not really my steeds. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like it's right there in your face. You niggas can read, so fucking go read it or whatever. You know, it's so many other creators that do that same thing, man. So many other creators go out here and tell you, hey, this is what's going on in the event week. So that's just what it is. The reason why I do quote unquote like the news stuff or whatever is because it's not, I don't really consider it news. Everything I do is more so just my own thoughts and my own topics. But I feel like there's not a lot of GTA content creators like me that's in my space where I tell you some shit going on and I give you my feelings and I tell it as thorough and as true to myself as I can, man. But when it come down to just my play style and kind of like why I kind of gave up on grinding, I ain't gonna say I gave up on grinding. I don't like that that sentiment of people saying I gave up on grinding or I turned my back on grinding or whatever like that. I just changed it up. I kind of just did some other stuff. And for one, it's working for me as far as like my enjoyment of the game because grinding over and over and over and over and over again got boring. It kind of got dry and stuff like that. But it also make me appreciate the grind more when I go out here and I PvP and fight people all day and all day and all day, get beat, get smoked. Then I'd be like, all right, you know what? Let's go do a heist. It made me appreciate the heist a little bit more. It's like, yes, man, like something that we can kind of sit back, relax, chill. I know what to do. I know how to do it greatly. I'm proficient in it. And it's just like, yes, you know what I'm saying? And I try to tell everybody, bro, when it come down to GTA, don't try to just always be one track because you're gonna burn yourself out. Try other stuff. It's, you know, most people, especially try hard people, they just think try hard and it's the best way to go. Like there's no other thing in the world to do but try harder. And for me, that's just not the case, man. Go out here, try some races, try to do a couple of missions, try to do some of the stuff that Rockstar added to the game besides just going to beach, going to airport, going to the little island spot and sitting there sniping at each other, spamming rockets and blowing yourself up all day. It, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, don't get me wrong. I fuck with that shit too, but I fuck with it on a different type of level. Like I don't really like watching 1v1s where niggas is blowing themselves up to avoid getting killed. I think that shit is ass. And even though tryhards consider that that shit take more skill, and I get it, like, yeah, it do take more skills to get two shots on somebody before they blow themselves up. But at the end of the day, what game is that considered a skill? Why should I shoot you, you blow yourself up, and that should be considered a skill? If any other game, if I shoot you, and the moment I shoot you, you blow yourself up, that's an assisted suicide. That's my point. I hit my shot. I don't understand that. There is no other competitive game that got that rule set besides the rule set that a uh, fellow tryhards, you know, put out there. And nothing against tryhards. I love tryhards. Um, I've, I've grown to respect tryhards and stuff like that. All type of people. Like, I'm at the point now in my life where I don't give a fuck how you play this game. Like, you play the game how you want to play the game. The game 11 years old, man. The game is 11 years old, and there's so many different ways to play, and there's so many different ways to avoid certain players that you don't want dealings with, unless you're a streamer or somebody like myself. Sometimes you just can't avoid some people. Some people just go out their way to make sure that they there and you see them and that they, you know, here to ruin the fun or just be a part of whatever you got going on. And for me, I don't really care. Like, I enjoy playing the game with friends. I enjoy playing the game with y'all. That's the reason why I pretty much add everybody back. And that's the reason why I even play this game. I, I play this game to play with people, play with the game, play with everybody else, the man. But I didn't kind of yapped about all type of different stuff, but the main thing about this was why I kind of, you know, stopped grinding and became more PvP focused and stuff like that. And like I said, it's more so for y'all enjoyment, more so because y'all like to do it, and more so because I just find it like to be a different flavor of GTA. Is there other stuff I would love to do? I would love to, you know, do more game modes and do more just like random stuff, like theme streams where, you know what I'm saying, the whole base of the stream is us, you know, going around as army men causing havoc or, you know, say underwater deep sea exploration and stuff especially before gta 6 come out but i got a lot of ideas especially when gta 6 come out that i really hope that i can you know implement and people fuck with and you know what i'm saying y'all can you know garner a community of just fun when it comes down to just gta as a whole man but i'm finna get ready to get on up out of here i didn't yapped enough i really do appreciate all the love and support that y'all been dropping on the channel man i definitely 
Cannot even thank y'all enough for that, Brody. But thank y'all again. But like I always say, gang, I'm finna get ready to get on the pot this. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you new. We getting closer and closer to 8,000 fucking subscribers, which is the goal for this year. And if we hit it, then I don't know. Maybe I'll fucking do a fucking backflip or some shit. Don't, don't quote me on that because I'm not going to do no backflip. But <laughs> I love y'all niggas. Thank y'all for love and support. And like I always say, gang, y'all be easy. Y'all take care. And to the next one, gang, I'm about this thing, man. Peace. I love y'all.